Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to take a look at a pretty unique product. This is the leather wallet and wristband strap from Ad Tactical, so stick with me. So as you can see, this is a very nicely constructed leather wallet. It's made of high quality leather, high quality stitching, and it's made in the USA, which is pretty cool. But what makes this wallet very cool and very unique is the fact that it was designed to be a field strop. So you can put strapping compound on both sides of the wallet. You could put like a fine and a medium or a medium and a more coarse grit uh, strapping compound inside the wallet, carry, carry it around with you like you would a normal wallet. There's plenty of room in here for several credit cards and cash, ID for example, and you have basically an on the go portable strap to keep your knives razor sharp. So I've been carrying this for the last week or so and honestly it works pretty well. I'm not sure that I would replace my wallet just because of the size of this wallet, hopefully maybe in the future he will do some larger wallets where you could fit more stuff in there. This one is really just designed to, f to fit an ID, some cash, you know, and uh, a few cards, for example. It would work great to keep like your hunting licenses in, maybe your hunting permit, um, your concealed weapon permit, for example, and just keep it maybe in your day pack or something like that. Maybe you could put this in the car with your registration and insurance papers and uh, always have access to that. And not only that, but have a strap with you in the car no matter where you go. Now he also sent along a few of these bracelets and these are a strap as well. So they fit around your wrist. He plans on having small, medium, and large size. They have really nice buttons on them. You just take the button off there and then you have this extra flap that keeps the strapping compound off your wrist when you're wearing it on your wrist. But basically then you would just unsnap it, apply the strapping compound, and again, you have a portable strap with you on the go. Pretty cool looking bracelet as well. It would certainly turn a few heads. People would wonder, you know, where did you get that pretty cool leather uh, bracelet there? And you can tell them that it's also a way to keep your knives very sharp, which is pretty cool. So the wallet came in this bag here with the wallet itself and then some strapping compound and then he also sent along a few of these bracelets. Taking a closer look at the bracelets here, you can see that it's pretty high quality leather there, some nice looking buttons, it looks nice on the wrist, and then you also have this uh, inner strap here which would protect the strapping compound from getting all over your wrist. You simply just unbutton this one as well and then you can apply your strapping compound and you can strap away. What I really like is the wallet. It's pretty high quality here, some nice looking leather, burnished edges here, and the stitching is very nice as well. On the inside, you just have a couple flaps here, not the, the biggest wallet, but it is very functional. A couple flaps on either side, and then he put his business card in here, which also uh, serves sort of a multi-purpose for, again, keeping that strapping compound uh, away from your cards. You can cover it that way, and then it won't get on the other side, for example. So you could leave that in there or take it out. Also got a spot for some notes here, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I loaded this up throughout the past few weeks and have been using it. And again, like I said, it works pretty dang well. So the wallet is very simple to use. You just simply keep some strapping compound on there at all times. After you use it, you just apply a little more strapping compound. This is something that you can do ahead of time. What I have been doing is just putting the plate, uh, putting the strapping compound on there, and then again, it's on there for when I want to use it out in the field or out and about. You can see I loaded it up with a few cards on either side. I think I have four on this side and two on this side, and my IDs in there. You could also store some cash in here. But, you know, so it functions pretty well as a small wallet. It reminds me of the, the smallest Maxpedition wallet that I had, about the same size as that. So to make it a little easier to apply the strapping compound, Rick suggests you just heat it up a little bit with a hair dryer. So you can just run your hair dryer over there a little bit and warm up the leather. Again, this is something that you could do ahead of time, not something that you're gonna do when you're out and about. So 
So once you have that warmed up a little bit, you can just apply the strapping compound and just kind of rub it in here. Another thing that I found that helps when putting applying the strapping compound is you can take a little bit of petroleum jelly. You could even take like some chapstick for example and then I just rub a little bit of that in there as well. Make sure not to do too much because I don't really want to get it all over my cards and all over my pocket. But you can rub just a fine layer of that on there and then I find that helps apply some of the strapping compound. So this is really going to be more tailored towards like your EDC folder for example and that's really all that I've been using it on. So if I want to just keep my blades nice and touched up on the go, this is a Swiss Army Farmer. This I use pretty much every day to open packages. I've been EDCing this a ton lately. I use it out in the woods when I'm making steaks for example because it's got the saw. So the, the, uh, the blade itself tends to dull a little bit over time, but nothing that a strap like this can't fix up. So basically, I just run the knife over the strap here a couple times, and again, I've preloaded the strapping compound before I left, so if I was out in the car, for example, or even out in the woods and had the wallet in my pocket, again, you could put like your hunting uh, licenses and things like that in here and keep it in your hunting kit you just have to run it over here a few times and then your knife is uh, insanely sharp. Um, that is certainly a razor's edge. You can grab some of this super thin newspaper here and you can see just how insanely sharp that edge is. Just slices right through with butter, like butter, no hang-ups whatsoever. So it does work very well. And you know, for blades like this that you use every day for cutting up in boxes or you know, just daily tasks, a strop like this is really all you need to bring it back to just a hair popping edge. So a couple of pretty cool products from Ad Tactical. I like that they're thinking outside the box and it is very effective. Like I said, I probably wouldn't use it as my main wallet just because of the size. I, you know, I like to have a little bit more with me uh, for my main carry wallet, but it would work great, for example, like I said, for keeping like your insurance uh, and your registration in your car, for example, keep it in your glove box and then you always have quick and easy access to a strap to keep your uh, knives nice and sharp. That's probably how I will end up using it. Now he wanted me to mention that the final production versions may not have the logo on them. They may be just the, uh, the, the wallet and the bracelet themselves. Like I said, he is planning on having three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Again, these are handmade in the USA with USA sourced uh, leather and uh, stitching. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Price wise, a little high in my opinion, 60 bucks for the wallet and I believe uh, 35 for the bracelet. Now I did uh, speak to Rick about it and he is willing to offer a $10 off coupon to uh, Living Survival subscribers. So I'm gonna put a link not only to his website below, but also uh, a uh, coupon uh, code for the wallet so that you can take an additional $10 off. So in addition with the purchase of the wallet or the bracelets, you get strapping compound from strapman.com. So that's pretty cool as well. I believe you can select on the website your choice of level of abrasion. I've got the white strapping compound, which I believe is like a medium grit, and it seems to work really well for keeping a very sharp edge on my blades. So a very unique item and an item that would make a great gift for any knife lovers out there. Speaking of gift items, in the month of December, I plan on doing a video every single day up until Christmas. A lot of you guys have asked me to put together a list of gift items that you know I would suggest for the holidays. Honestly, 
all my videos, all the reviews that I do, all the products that I show would make great gift items. Otherwise, I wouldn't show them to you. So what I decided instead of lumping together uh, stuff that I've already showed you, I'm gonna show you all new products throughout the month of December. I'm gonna try to bring a new review for you every single day up until Christmas. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you click that subscribe button and make sure that you get notified when a new video drops. As always guys, I hope you share this video with your friends and family who might be interested on social media. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And as I just mentioned, make sure you subscribe for more videos.